Good morning, magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast. And back in the Throne of Eldraine, we released a card which caused quite a stir immediately. No, I'm not talking about Oko. I'm talking about Arcane Signet. This card showed up in the Brawl decks. But how did it come to be? How do we feel about it now? And will we be seeing more like it in the future? Let me tell you all about it today. For Throne of Eldraine, we decided to make four Brawl pre-constructed decks. The goals of these decks were to create a great on-ramp to Brawl and create some new cards that would really help out the Brawl format. And one of the big issues with Brawl is that the mana was pretty rough. You only had standard mana fixing to work with. So we had an idea. What if some of the cards in these decks would help you fix your mana? We only had 20 new card slots to work with. These cards were going into standard, so we wanted to be careful with them. So every slot meant as much as possible from a design perspective. So we tried to get a lot of mana fixing done with very few cards. One card we put in and just reprinted was Command Tower. It was great for standard. It didn't actually impact the format at all. You can't really play in a standard deck effectively, and it super helped fix your mana in your commandery games. But another card we made for this purpose was Arcane Signet. The idea here was that standard doesn't really do two mana mana rocks anymore. But in Commander, they're a hallmark of the format. So we could create one for Brawl that wouldn't show up in standard play through these Commander decks. And naturally, King into your Commander's color identity was a place to go. We even named it after the Ravnica Signets, the most popular two mana cost cycle of rocks in Commander. Now for Brawl, it definitely accomplished its goal. It showed up in most decks and really helped fix the mana. But the thing about making a magic card is now it has to live in Commander forever. And so because of Commander, Arcane Signet quickly became the talk of the Brawl pre-constructed decks. In fact, not only were not enough of the decks made, but you really couldn't find them anywhere because every Commander player was trying to buy them to get their hands on Arcane Signet. So as it was becoming the hottest card externally, internally, we knew we needed to get it into as many products as possible. It's important to me that a card like this is available. It's a common that is a staple in Commander. You should be able to get your hands on it. So we put it into Commander 2020, we got it into most of the pre-cons since, we got it into Commander Legends, and even had a secret lair. And now there are plenty of Arcane Signets to go around. So now that there are plenty out there, how do I feel about it? Well, it's not too strong. There are plenty of two mana mana rocks you can play in Commander. There's no shortage of great options. But the thing it does that I really don't like is it homogenizes deck building. Most Commander decks start off with Command Tower, Soul Ring, and then Arcane Signet. And every card that homogenizes your deck building means that there's one fewer cool card you get to put into your commander deck. And for the long-term health of commander, it's really important that we don't homogenize the format and that every deck feels different and unique. I would never want it to be the case that the first 20 cards of every commander deck are just the same. And it's not just mana rocks we care about the homogenization of either. We also care about it a lot with every other card slot and especially legends. If we make a really strong legend in a color combination, it can push out every other legend of that combination and really homogenize what that color does. For example, also from the Brawl pre-constructed decks are Chulain and Corvold. And there's a lot of really cool Jund and Bant commanders that are just pushed out by these two cards. And we don't really wanna do more of that in the future. And while I don't claim to speak for every designer, I know that for me personally, in retrospect, I wish we hadn't made Arcane Signet. Don't get me wrong, we're going to keep printing it. It's really important you can all get copies of it and it was a worthwhile experiment to run. We learned a lot from it and Brawl probably could use the card, but it's definitely not the card we wanna make more of going forward. And in general, we are being very careful to not print these cards, which go in every single commander deck. Now we're going to keep making staples for sure. There'll be cards you put into a lot of your commander decks, but we're trying not to make anything that shows up in literally every commander deck. And that's pretty much what Arcane Signet is doing. If you're playing two or more colors, you're gonna play this in your deck over even the Ravnica Signets, which were already the benchmark for two color mana rocks. So what does the future for mana rocks hold? Well, I don't think we're going to be making many new two mana mana rocks. It's really hard to compete with the ones that already exist in Commander, and we don't wanna be trying to make cards better than the Ravnica Signets or Arcane Signet. That just leads to the same problem we ended up with here. One space I do think is interesting to explore though, are mana rocks that cost colored mana now that we make colored artifacts. For example, what does a one and a white to cast mana rock look like? The space to me that is most interesting to explore from a design perspective are three mana mana rocks. If you want mana acceleration as quickly as possible, yeah, you'll grab a two mana mana rock. But the three mana mana rocks have a lot of room for customization based on your deck. 
For example, if you want mana as quickly as possible, yeah, you might grab a Collision Relic. But if you want a card draw engine, maybe you'll grab a Bonders Ornament. Or if you're locked into blue, maybe Midnight Clock is the card that you want. There is a ton of room to try things on three mana mana rocks. So I guess you'll have to stay tuned and see what those are. But all of that said, what do you think about Arcane Signet and mana rocks in Commander? Are you happy Arcane Signet exists? Do you dislike that it exists? Are you excited about more three mana mana rock options? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll talk with you again on Monday. And in the meantime, may you always have a Signet on turn two. You got this. Let's again look at Strix Haven Limited for this. Let's imagine you drafted a blue green deck and you have two copies of Body of Research. Good job on drafting those. Now, if I'm going to imagine what a board state with this deck might look like when it's winning, it probably has that Body of Research token tapped and attacking your opponent. So it means that cards like Wormhole Serpent,